Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Kanda poha is a traditional Maharashtrian dish which can be enjoyed for breakfast or as an evening snack along with some chai. Kanda in Marathi means onions. So the dish we are going to make now is pretty straightforward. It involves onions and beaten rice mainly. This kanda poha has an exceptional taste which is very simple yet very difficult to not crave for. So let's get started and check out how to make this beautiful poha recipe. So for the kanda poha, I've taken this thick variety poha. So first we're going to wash the poha. I've taken two cups. It's a 250 ml cup measurement. So wash the poha a few times, discard all this water. So I've washed the poha a few times. Just strain it and keep it aside. So there's no need to soak the poha. If you just wash it a few times, this will soften up. So first we're going to roast the peanuts to the pan, add about a teaspoon of oil. I'm roasting about half cup of peanuts. You can also use roasted peanuts with or without skin. If you roast the peanuts a little bit before you add them, they'll be nice and crunchy. So you can see the peanuts are roasted well. Turn off the stove and keep them aside. Take a nice white pan, add about one tablespoon of oil. First add all the ingredients for tempering, starting with one teaspoon of urud dal, one teaspoon mustard seeds, one teaspoon cumin seeds. Just roast these a bit. Once the mustard seeds start crackling, add the red chilies and adding about three. I've taken two medium sized onions, finely chopped. Next add about four green chilies. Split. Since we are making kanda poha, you can be a bit generous with the onions. To this, I am going to add a piece of ginger, finely chopped. We are going to season this. Next, I am going to add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of salt. So once you have mixed that, now add the poha. So gently start mixing the poha along with the onions. Once you've mixed everything, you can always check for seasoning and add a little bit of salt if required. Make sure everything is well combined. Next, add the roasted peanuts. I'm also adding a few curry leaves. So if you don't have curry leaves, don't worry about it. Curry leaves adds a really nice flavor. Akanda poha is looking absolutely gorgeous. So there are two more elements I need to add to this. At this point, reduce the flame to a nice low. Squeeze the juice of half lemon. Turn off the stove and mix everything well. Now you can adjust the seasoning like I said. If you do need a little more lemon juice, you can add a little more lemon juice after tasting. So finally, I'm finishing off by adding some chopped coriander leaves. Delicious kanda poha is ready to be served nice and hot. The kanda poha looks absolutely delicious. For the final touches, I'm just going to garnish it with some roasted peanuts, some finely chopped coriander leaves, a little bit of sev, some freshly grated coconut, and just place half lemon. So just in case you want to squeeze a little bit, you can squeeze that and enjoy. There you go, this is a yummy kanda poha with lots of onions and the real magic is just that. Now you can enjoy this as is because the poha is so flavorful, it doesn't require any side dish. So I suggest you try it sometime and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.